Hello there, Apets. This is Sir Mangiat. Guess what step are we now? Yes, we are in the 8th step. And the good news is, it is the last step in the accounting cycle. Feeling excited? Let's begin! For our last topic, we are going to learn on how to close the books. Why is there a need to close the books? We need to have closing entries to reset the temporary account balances to zero on the general ledger. What are these temporary accounts? Income, expense, and withdrawal accounts are temporary accounts. At the end of each year, the balances of these temporary accounts are transferred to the capital account. This phase of the cycle is called the closing procedure. Just always remember, only temporary accounts are to be closed. Now, let's analyze the following examples. First, close the income accounts. At the end of the accounting period, income accounts must be reset to zero. To do this, the closing entry would be credit all the revenues and debit Income Summary Income Summary is used to close the income and expense accounts. If you will recall the rules of debit and credit, the normal balance of revenue is credit. But since we need to reset the revenue accounts to zero balance, they should be debited. To close the expense accounts, the closing entry would be debit income summary and credit all the expense accounts if you will recall the rules of debit and credit the normal balance of expenses is debit but since we need to reset the expense accounts to zero balance they should be credited after we close the revenue and expense accounts let's close the income summary account just debit the income summary and credit the owner's capital account. How do we come up with an income summary balance of 70,000 pesos? Let's show this using the T-account. The income summary is credited when we close the revenues and we debited the income summary when we close the expense accounts. So, 143,400 less 73,400 is 70,000. Lastly, we are going to close the withdrawal accounts. The closing entry would be debit capital and credit withdrawals. And there you are. We already closed the temporary accounts. But how about the permanent accounts? These permanent accounts include all the balance sheet accounts such as assets, liabilities, and equity. We do not close permanent accounts since these accounts will be used for the next accounting period. So what shall we do with them? We need to create the post-closing trial balance. The post-closing trial balance verifies all the debits and credits in the trial balance. The trial balance contains only balance sheet items such as assets, liabilities, and ending capital because all income and expense accounts as well as withdrawal account have zero balances. Like the trial balance that we have made on the previous lessons, we write the heading and we list down all the accounts, but this time all the permanent accounts only from assets to equity. The balances of each account can be found in the statement of financial position or balance sheet. After that, we compute for the total debit and credit balances. The total balances of debit and credit must be balanced. Then don't forget to double rule. This trial balance will be used for the next accounting period. That's why it is called the accounting cycle. 
And that's it. Congratulations! We have finished the accounting cycle for the given period. I hope that this video presentation really helped you to understand and learn the basics of accounting, most especially the accounting cycle. If you want to watch and review other topics, feel free to subscribe to this channel. I hope that this is not a goodbye after all. See you in my next videos about fundamentals of accountancy, business and management too. Once again, this is Sir Jomari Mangiat. In a life full of liabilities, always remember to become an asset. If you don't want to be an asset, don't try to be everyone's liability. Have a nice day, asset.